Adding a watermark is a great way to get more subscribers and help people know who you are on YouTube. A watermark is that little item in the bottom lower right hand corner that says who you are. For example, this is GH for Jacqueline Hill. This little heart with the M L A E for My Life is Eva. Or the signature for Casey Neistat. When you mouse over this, it gives you the opportunity to subscribe to that channel. This is a present on all your videos, so it's a great way to get people to subscribe to your videos and also brand your videos on YouTube. Let's learn how to set those up right now. First of all, we're going to need an image to add our watermark. So let's go create that. I'm going to use an online Photoshop right now, but you can use any kind of graphics editing software you have. It's called Pixlr. It's pretty nice. Let's create a new image. Watermarks are going to be square. YouTube is going to size them up or down depending on what screens they're showing on, but they're always going to show up as square. So if you make any size of square image, it'll work. However, you need to make sure that your watermark is distinct and readable pretty small. YouTube will display it anywhere from 40 by 40 to 50 by 50. So we need to make sure that our image looks good at that small size. So we're going to set our size to 800 by 800 right now, just to give us some space to work. Make sure you click transparent. Hit OK. So here's our canvas. What are we going to draw? Let's just start out doing our name. Right in the middle. Alright, that looks good. So let's save the image. Hit file, save. You're going to want to choose PNG. You want your video to show through the parts of the image where you don't actually have an image. That's called transparency, and only PNG and a few other formats support that. You also have to make sure that the size is smaller than one megabyte to upload to YouTube. We're at 14K, so we're doing good. Hit OK. Let's save it to our desktop. Let's check that out. Looking pretty good. So now let's go upload that to YouTube. Let's go to your YouTube channel. Go to your Creator Studio. Channel. Branding. Add watermark. Choose the file. Hit save. It's looking pretty good. Hit save again. And here it's going to give you the option of when you want to display it. You can display it at the end of the video, at custom start time, or the entire video. I say custom start time usually five seconds in. Looks good to me. Let's hit update. Let's see if it worked. Let's go look at some of our videos. It looks beautiful. If you want to change your watermark, you just have to remove the whole thing and do it again. So you can go back to the branding on the channel and hit remove. And then go through the whole process again. And here are a few things that I've learned about watermarks that will help you out knowing how to design one that you really like. It really doesn't matter how big or small it is as long as it's bigger than 40 by 40 and square. This is a watermark design that started out as a 1 inch by 1 inch image. And this one is one that started out as a 10 inch by 10 inch image but the name itself was smaller inside of it. So it doesn't matter how big your image is, it just matters the proportions, because YouTube's going to shrink it down to this 40 by 40 square anyway. And here's what happens when you try to use a JPEG instead of a PNG. I meant for this image to be transparent, but it showed up on a white background, so you don't want to do this. However, this is a great time to talk about how to set up your image. You'll notice that this image is pure white, but it looks a little gray. That's because YouTube makes the watermark a little transparent. So you gotta take that into account. When you're designing an image, it's not gonna look exactly how you designed it because YouTube's gonna make it transparent until the person actually mouses over the image. So make sure you take that into account when you're designing your watermark. You can see analytics on how your watermark is performing by going to the analytics section and clicking on annotations. If people have clicked on your annotation, it'll show up in this annotation type as featured or branding or watermark and then it'll show you the click-through rate. That way you can optimize your watermark to increase clicks and increase subscribers. The most important thing is just to experiment. Play around different styles, different looks, and show off your brand and get people to click and subscribe. Thanks for watching.